Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And today we were at the Wormhole Laboratory, I guess it's multi-dimensional laboratory, laboratory, I'm not really sure. And I'm just gonna talk to everybody in here. Hey there Zebra, go see what you can learn from everybody. He is like being like a guard right now. He doesn't want me to leave for the story's sake. Hey, um, being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner. Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. It just hits me, you. You're not j using battle boxes, are you? Good grief. If you want to use battle boxes, check your boxes in your PC. Add Pokemon to a battle box and create a battle team. Then you can select a battle team instantly whenever you want to battle your friends. You can set up to six battle teams to be used in different situations. That's why you can distinguish the team you use for your journey from the special team that you might use for battle royales, for example. Also, you can have the same Pokemon in different battle teams. Please, please use battle boxes from the battle boxes in your PC. Or the, in the box, okay, whatever. If you use the verse recorder, you can not only rewatch old link battles you had with others, you can even hold mock battles against the teams captured in the battle video. That's why battle videos are the best. So you can have like, I guess like artificial fights, I guess, interesting. There was a man named Moan, who years ago published his theory about the ultra wormholes. Oh, that's it. I like having these guys all have the same voice, like they're all clones. Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Interdream Zone. Interesting. Uh, Mahang! Hi, Lily, how are you doing? Uh, something. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby, I mean, about Cosmog, so I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. That is a lot less dramatic than I was expecting. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his so his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Aw, that's really cute. I love that. Okay, so a little makeshift family. How you doing, Professor? We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. Okay. I do see a uh, totem sticker right over here. Might as well grab that. And there's like one book that's obviously more noticeable than the rest of them. I guess we'll go to that one. There are many writings about the interdream zone that exist between realities and dreams. What about this one? Um, no, okay, never mind. No, there has to be something more I can do here. Why can't I just go ahead and pick up the one that's like red and really obvious? I don't know. Uh, what do I do then? Uh, is there another book I can touch? They're all photos of Professor Burnett and Professor Kukui as a couple. Really cute. I don't, I mean, there's other books around here. Is that it? Um. How about that, Zebra? If Ultra Bees are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. You've finished all three of Akala's trials, woo! And now comes a big match against Olivian, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all on here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is, the, is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. Being able to go more places really makes it feel like you're, you already told me this. <laughs> he just repeat. he didn't think of anything interesting to say, so I'm out of here before these guys drive me insane with their repeated sentences. Okay, so let me go ahead and go to 1F and we will try to get to the Kahuna and battle her now. I don't know if we'll have more battles on the way there on Coney Coney City. There'll be trainers or anything. It's interesting, this, this Pokemon game feels way more like non-traditional. Oh my, what's happening? Uh, is it gonna be one of those wormholes? Probably, yes. Just because of plot convenience. Gigantic wormhole. The moment we learn about them, as if we're not the main character. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky? Was that it? Hey, Zebran. So you made it through all three captain's trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna, Ka Kahuna Livian. She lives in the town past Nicholas Tunnel. Nicholas Tunnel is, let's see, from here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk right past it though, so keep your eyes peeled. Are we supposed to go in the Diglett's Tunnel or not? Now it's Malasada time for me! I think so. Like if I go this way, I think this is a way we've been before as well, but maybe not. 
Uh, wait a sec, how do I get to Penny Allentown again? Yeah, I think we've talked to you before. Yes, okay, I'm recalling this, and there's this jerk who won't let me buy any farther, because I, everything's about me all the time. Me, 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 so you can't pass this road that I have no legal construct over. I don't know. <laughs> let me, uh, blab to Rotom. Uh, just because I want to be able to see the bottom screen. So yeah, I guess we're actually supposed to go to Diglett's Tunnel. I don't know if I should pull out a Repel or not. I don't really know if I want to deal with any of these Pokemon. But is she still she still is right here. Do I just battle her right here in the cave? So how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Zebra. Nice work. I see you've passed Milo's trial. It's about time you've had some fun with me. The Diglett, Diglett have settled down, too. If you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. So we don't get the battle or just right now. Okay, interesting. Uh, if we get through this tunnel, we'll just be steps away from Coney Coney City, big boy. What do you call me, big boy? Okay, weird. Uh, let us just do what we need to do then. Um, more Diglets, you know, we'll just use Finn. You know what? I'm pretty sure Finn is close to level 27, right? Uh, yes, that is the case. So maybe this will just really help. We'll, of course, do like stuff like Water Pulse. Should be pretty easy one shot as long as uh, they don't have too much of an effective first hit. Okay, so they did, you know, Astonish. It didn't make me flinch or anything. Good. Will that be enough for level 27? I don't think quite enough. I think it'll be, I don't know. Actually, we have a good chunk left to go. So it seems like there were two paths here. I really don't know if I should use a Repel or not, but I don't know if I'll have any other chances to level up beyond now. So, oh, there is a trainer though. Hey, how are you? Whether in battles or in digging tunnels, Pokemon are incredible. Yeah, they are. And that's why we use them all the time. Let us see what you have to do. Oh, look at you flexing, Worker Frank. He's putting his own self to work, just as much as his Pokemon. Shield on, oh my. This might be a steel type. I have never seen this Pokemon before, so it might kick our butt. But I'll go ahead and try to use, uh, let's see, fight, Z power, and then just water pulse this dude. I have no, no idea what's gonna happen, but hopefully it'll be decent. Okay, let's see. Moving, moving, and grooving. I don't know, I just, it looks like a little dance, so I just gotta poke fun at it from time to time. Okay, so full force Z move, Hydro Vortex. Look at it go. Is this gonna do anything? This might do like a tiny little blip of damage, which would be funny. This is like intense move. Oh, it's almost a one hit takedown. It is super effective. Shield on Sturdy, endure the hit. Ah, so he only didn't get taken down because of a special Sturdy effect. This is going to uh, be make me get taunted. That's fine, now we can just use a water gun and it'll be a-okay. Uh, if you use Water Gun, this should be enough to take care of Shield On here, unless he has another Endure, but he doesn't. Totally fine, super effective, Shield On fainted, interesting Pokemon that should give us a ton of experience. Oh, 258 is not all that much. Um, if it didn't work a Frank, the same is true for my Pokemon, but your Pokemon, incredible. Oh, so he's combining himself and his Pokemon and me all at the same time, what a wordsmith. Okay, so there's that. Let me go ahead and get this Pokeball. Dusk Ball, pretty cool. So I won't worry about that for now. What is, oh, there's still more down here. Oh, I guess this was sort of like an area to return to. I guess if I find that little area to hop down, don't have to worry about it. What are we gonna go get us down? Another Diglett? Probably. Whoop! No, it's a Zubat. I honestly think I wanna run from the Zubats because they're just a pain in the butt to take out. Because I think they're just normal. They're not flying at all. Let me see, do I have anything effective against them? Like super effective, not just normally effective? No. Um, we're just gonna run. Zubats just seem to be a pain in the butt, so I just don't want to deal with them. Um, let's go this way then, and hopefully not run into too many other random battles. Actually, that's really it. Oh, can we break these rocks? Maybe a powerful Pokemon can break it? Do you want to call Tauros? So Tauros can break these kind of rocks. All right, got it. Ooh, the double break, and there's a Pokeball. Firestone, cool. I'll, I'll take it, sure, why not? So let's go ahead and go up these stairs. And, oh, it's these guys. We saw these guys in the last episode. Phew. With Olivia's in charge, or with Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all to the surface. 
Oh, Team Skull, is, is this group of troublemakers you see, how we know. They seem to be to, to delight at interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take, your, take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on the near surf, near, near or stuck on or near the surface, though. So be careful. Oh, I've run into many. Don't worry about it. I like how it does actually do the cutscenes with like us like this. It's pretty cool. Um, but it seems like there's plenty more to do around here. We got a Pokeball. You found another Hyper Potion. That's always going to be helpful. Just less things I need to buy and the battle. I'm really tempted to do repels, but at the same time, we'll wait until Finn gets a level up. We get whoa, a Larvitar. Now, I think we're gonna get to Larvitar before, but I'm not really too familiar with it, so it's cool to see. I feel like it's like an older Pokemon. It's been in older Pokemon games. But Water Pulse is super effective. I might as well use it. This will get Finn to level 27, which is fantastic. As long as we have Finn, maybe I don't need to skip out on battles. Super effective. Larvitar's going down. Okay, 200 experience. That'll definitely be level 27 for our boy Finn. I don't know when he evolves, but I'm gonna assume it's not anytime soon. Uh, anybody else get level ups? No. Um. Probably like, I don't know, if Finn evolves, I'm gonna assume it's like in the 30s. Oh, can I not fit through here with uh, Tauros? That's fine. Let's plop off of you and just walk on through. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta hoof it. I mean, I guess we were hoofing it before with our hoofed Pokemon, but I'm, I'm, all, I'm very used to hoofing that. See, we can't break this stone. Oh well, well, we'll battle you. Hey there, you're another worker. Dig a hole. Don't tell me what to do, buddy. You're asking for it. I'm a Pokemon, I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> it's worker Jeff. All right, Jeff. What do you got for me? Diglett. <laughs> okay, we're sort of used to Diglett at this point. What level is Diglett here? Um, Probably not too bad, probably like 21, 22. Okay, so let's go ahead and fight with Water Pulse for now. Oh, you, you get to attack first. Whatever reason, Diglett has a faster attack. That sort of was a little painful. Um, Finn speed fell. We're gonna use Water Pulse, so hopefully this will be a one-hit knockdown, but I'm not expecting it. Oh, yes it was, awesome. A critical hit, that's pretty lucky. So there's that, 187 experience. And then what else do you have here? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep battling, or we're just gonna use the uh, Z-Move. If it's a higher level, I think. No, it's just level 22 again. Maybe we'll just use Water Pulse again. Save me, save me a couple seconds, right? So you're gonna use Bulldoze again. We just saw this, obviously it doesn't do too bad. I think it was actually a critical there, maybe. Maybe not. Either way, this might not be a one hit because it's not gonna be a critical, but it was still enough. Okay, fine, that's good. Awesome stuff, another 187. So we're already making a decent little dent into level 27. Charco was level 32, which is fantastic. Defeated worker Jeff. Was, if there was a hole here, I'd wanna crawl into it. I wanna dig a hole and hide. Wow, okay, we sort of broke his manlyhood there. I'm sorry, I just wanted to battle Pokemon with you. Um, So let's just keep going this way. Maybe we'll find more. Uh, but I think down here is the way we're supposed to go. What is going on? There's like a box full of dirt. I guess I mean, like it maybe has like different ores and stuff in it. I don't know. Another Diglett. Oh gosh, I got the mouse cursor on the screen. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Awkward. High production value. <laughs> okay, Water Pulse. The Wild Diglett used Magnitude, Magnitude seven. Oh, I forgot about this move, yeah, ground types can do this, can't they? We're gonna use Water Pulse, boom. This will definitely help, because uh, Olivia is a rock type trainer, so bumping up Finn as much as we can now is probably the, for the best, so maybe we can even get him to level 20, that'd be great. If I have any Hyper Potions, I think it'll be in my best interest to get one on him now. We definitely have at least one, or at least some potions, whatever it is, either that be Hyper Potion or otherwise. Um. The thing is, I don't like, oh wait, sort by name. There we go, I didn't know I could actually do that. Hyper Potion will be 120 HP. Do I have any other type of potion though? I don't think I do actually. Wait, Super Potion. Well actually, let's organize by, by type then. Maybe that's a problem here. Uh. Yes, okay, so we do have just, Super Potions will be enough. It'll be 60 HP, and that'll get you all the way back up to full. Awesome. I could've just used two normal potions. I'll keep that in mind for next time. I didn't know I could sort things. That made it way easier. Oh, hey, trainer. Perfect timing. Work through brute force. Doesn't go well. Okay, then don't do it. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? Okay, so we're gonna go against 
Worker Vaklov. Interesting name. Never heard of that one before. All right, Vaklov. He's an Archon. A Pokemon I've never seen, but a very cool looking Pokemon. Looks like something out of Monster Hunter Stories. That's a cool game. But, uh, fight. I have no idea what will be good at. What are you? Are you a rock bird? You are so cool. It looks like a dragon, but a bird, I don't know. We'll use our super powerful vortex move and hopefully that'll be okay. Like nothing bad will come from that. We'll have to find out though. So only use your full force Z move. Hopefully it'll take him out, because if not, we might be in trouble, who knows. Okay, not bad. Pretty crazy. As always, it's super effective, awesome. So we don't have to worry about you being awful, which is great. Um, and the rest of our team get experience, which is good. That was a decent chunk of experience. Very, very good. Your power is beyond what I imagined. Sorry, Volklov. Better luck next time, dude. Better luck next time. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so we battled you. Is there anything else going on down here? I guess I thought this path split for a good reason. Oh boy. Ah, no way. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo, I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Well then, you're the one who calls this mess, you guys, yo. Since when can Diglett use beat up? Uh, I don't know, when they, when you annoyed them. <laughs> He's just so silly. I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad, cause you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Zebra, oh no, no, okay, I thought that was still him. I'm trying not to burp. Oh, we're gonna do doubles right now? Oh, or ow? I don't know, ow. I was wondering wh wh who you were playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. You want some? That's how we say hello, nice knowing you punks. Ooh, is it a 2v2? That'd be a lot of fun. I don't think we've done many 2v2s, if really any. So let's see, Team Skull. Jerks, let's see. Oh yeah, look at this. You were challenged by Team Skull Grunt and Team Skull Grunt, ooh. Variety. So what do they have? They have uh, Salandit and Econ. So I'm definitely gonna go for Salandit if I can. All right, Finn, and Eevee. Oh, you have an Eevee. It's just a normal Eevee though. I have a Water Stone for you if you want it. Uh, fight, we will, oh my gosh, this is so laggy. We're definitely gonna use this on Salandit. Water Pulse, this could actually take him down to one hit or close to it. Ooh, super close. You can use Ember, probably, yep, against the Eevee. Don't really care too much about the Eevee. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna bite Econ's, not a bad move. Um, ooh, that's not good. We're paralyzed, we may be unable to move, but hopefully I can just land one more on Slandit, just get rid of him, and we only have one Pokemon to focus on. You could have quick attacked Slandit there, but I guess maybe you trust me to do this properly. Okay, can I use my Water Pulse, or was I paralyzed, Aaron? Come on, come on. Yeah, I was able to do it, awesome. So there's that, you're done for, which is gonna give us hopefully decent experience. We're about to find out. 248, we're like a third through our uh, level up here. Pokepack level 31, that's pretty decent. It's not gonna be helpful for uh, Olivian. Beardy Bill level 29 will be okay. Beardy Bill wants to learn the move Knock Off. Um, forget an old move, what is Knock Off? Knock Off is a dark type move. Um, the user slaps down the target's held item and that item can't be used in battle. That doesn't really sound that great. The move does more damage if the target has a held item. I think I'm gonna give up on learning that. We don't, really don't need a dark move. Okay, sorry. Now we just got Econs, what will Finn do? Go ahead and just use another Water Pulse, cause why not? Econs, you're going down. All right, quick attack, that might, might be enough right there. It is, so you're down. We've faced Econs in the past zone, but I will take care of our Pokemon here. The rest of your team gained experience points. Very good, awesome. Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that unfolds us like, us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. Okay, cool. We got rid of him. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of Finn here because he's electrocuted. Okay, so you guys gonna get out of here? Yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out, there, out here. You say that, but you lost. See you on the flip side. Man, Zebra, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it, I've just gotta give you something. 
Max Ether. Cool, I'll take it. Free stuff. I love free. Max Ethers will restore all the PP to one of your moves, you know. Pretty great, right? It's pretty much like those Roto PP restores that you can get from the Roto Loto, yeah. We're probably gonna get a Roto Loto soon, that, that's sort of teasing it. Now I'm gonna go have some more fun with my, those Diglets, see ya. Okay, well, there's that done. What about down here? Oh yeah, this is where we can pop down and sort of circle around, but I definitely don't wanna do that. That'd be a total waste of time right now. We're gonna head out of here, hopefully. Yeah, okay, so we should be at, what was it called? Cory Cory City or something? I'll run Route 9. Short and sweet. Oh yeah, it is actually very short, wow. Uh, oh, hello. How are you? Oh, a trial going trainer you are. Luker is my name. Luker? I travel the world, and many lands do I visit for, my own private reasons. Alola is a nice place and so very peaceful, most ideal for a vacancy. I was just in Coney, oh, Coney, Coney City, where I just, where I got a most unusual stone at Miss Olivia's shop. No one here is so terrible as to try to create the, a new world or liberate all Pokemon from their trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. What, what are you talking about? Though concerns I have about those reported sightings are of the infamous Pokemon Mafia. Oh, Team Skull. Ah, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone if you forgive my rudeness. I bought three without thinking. Sure, who obtained the Thunderstone? Cool. Now I gotta look up these Thunderstones and these Waterstones. Do have a good adventure, my trial going young trainer friend. I will have a good old time. So he's weird. What about this sign? Route 9 Police Station, don't fight, don't meet, meet anyone's eyes. Oh. Um, speaking of which, let me go to the police station. What's going on in here? Um, all right, well, so far, so good. It is a police station. If I have any crimes, I'll report them here. My partners are at the back is acting really weird lately. All right, you okay? D d something wrong? Dito! What? Is he a ditto? A wild ditto appeared. Wait, so the police officer was the ditto. That is creepy. I thought that you could only replicate Pokemon. That is really, really creepy. Okay, I don't know what type of Pokemon ditto is, but he's level 29. We're gonna Hydro Vortex this dude. Just get him down as much as we possibly can. Creepy. I don't even know what to say about that. Well, not much I have to say, I just have the battle. Holy cow, that is just really off, like off-putting. Hey, Ditto can become anything it wants to. I mean, it can look like anything it wants to. Ditto is still Ditto, though, in essence, I would imagine. Um, that did okay. It did about half of his health. While well, Ditto use Transform, what are you transforming into? Oh, us. Well, does that matter? If I change to Pikachu right now, will that hurt you? I have no clue. Like, are you transforming into things, or are you just appearing as them? Because wasn't there another Pokemon that does that, too? Maybe you're actually transforming into them, which would be crazy. Uh, Rain Dance, oh wow, yeah, you're actually using our moves. So you were just that police officer. That is so creepy. Um, Let me quickly go ahead and just Thunderbolt you. It should be easy enough. You're gonna use Gust. Oh, that didn't do much. Not very effective. Thunderbolt, boom. This should be level 33 for Pikachu as well, which is exciting. It's super effective. The Wild Ditto fainted. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna go at 789 experience. Holy cow, level 33 for Pikachu for sure, and maybe even really close to the level up for Finn, 631. Crazy stuff. Tim grew to level 30, we're hitting that 3 0 club all over the place. Awesome. So there's Pikachu, happy as can be. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him. Okay, well, now there's that done. And now, what happens? Uh, a ditto was disguised as my partner. Are the Ditto 5 responsible for this? The Ditto 5 love humans so much that they transform into humans. They are very troublesome. They mean no harm, but they mess up people's relationships, so they are registered as wanted Pokemon. But where in the world did my partner go? By any chance, did Ditto? Uh, no, he's right there. <laughs> he's totally fine. Sorry, I had a cold and was in bed for a while. What happened to the Ditto, though? <laughs> Thank you for finding out that, that that a ditto was disguised as my partner. Take this as thanks. $12,000. Lately in Coney Coney City, there are sightings of people who might actually be a ditto. 
I'm investigating these cases. You found out my partner was actually a ditto. It would be a reassuring if I could get your help. Sure. More cash? I will, I'll take it if you give me more cash. Really? Of course I'll reward you for your cooperation. I've heard that in Kony Kony City, there's a seller who interacts with customers in a bizarre way. A ditto may be involved. Defeat or catch the ditto. Either way, please report it to me. All right. Weird. Can I talk to you, though? What do you have to say now? Ditto can transform into anything. It's amazing Pokemon. Weird. Really weird. Um. Well, I'm out of here. We have another uh, police officer here to battle. Don't think I have too much of a choice in this one. I guess you could have snuck behind him. I don't know. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? Well, you're not giving me much of a choice. Police officer, you're supposed to be protecting me, not battling me. Well, what's going on here, mister? Oh, he's charging me. He's like, stop. Police officer Haruki. All right, Haruki, calm down, dude. I'm not, am I under arrest if I beat you? It's gonna hurt here. Whoa, look at you. You're awesome. You're uh, the the one Pokemon we ride on 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 their back and they sniff. Herdiers intimidate. And that's going to lower our attack, which is not that great. I think that uh, unfortunately, Finn's not gonna do too much too crazy here. But Finn is getting really close to level up, which is great. Either way, we'll use our Z Power Water type. Hopefully, this will uh, be overall beneficial for us. We can maybe end up getting maybe like half of his HP taken down. I really don't think it'll do too much. I don't think he is something that would be weak to water. He's definitely not uh, ground. He does not look like a ground type. He looks like a normal type. I mean, yeah, I would say I would say so. That's still almost half his HP. The opposing hernia used takedown. Ouch. Ooh, that really hurt. Oh, they took damage from the recoil though. We're definitely just gonna switch out Pokemon now. Make it easier. Maybe Charco can help out here. Fighting should be good if it's normal type. Alright, come back, Finian. Finn. I won't call you by your full name. Okay, Charco, you can do something, all right? Takedown will hurt again, but you're gonna get hit by the recoil. Yeah, okay, so let's just go ahead and try this uh, double kick fighting move. Let's see how well that, that does. Uh, boom. Nice. Okay, so there's that. It's super effective, hit one time. But yeah, Charco has fighting type moves, which should help with, ooh, is that a level up for Finn? Not quite, wow, okay. Um, this is a case, or not. He is so weird. Okay, well, there's that done. But uh, Charco's kick should be good against Olivia as well, which is the problem is I think the fire type is weak to rock. This way to Memorial Hill, and beyond it, the ruins of life. Oh my. The dead can sleep in peace here, and here in the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred ruins, the ruins of life. They say that's why Memorial Hill was built here long ago. Can I go up here? If there's a ton to do here, I might not quite do it right now. We are running out of time for today's episode, but there is a lot of, like, yeah, there's definitely trainers here. So maybe we'll tackle that in the next episode. We're not quite done for today, but I just want to look around a little bit more. Maybe I could heal my Pokemon, because they are starting to take a bit of damage. Um, I found X accuracy. I didn't even know there was anything over here. I accidentally press A, and I get something. Cool. Um, I'm not going to battle you then just yet. All the battles will save until a little bit later. We got another netball. And what does this sign say? Maybe another trainer ship? Yep. On the screen where you select a ride Pokemon to call, Press the control pad icon beside a Pokemon and you can register that Pokemon to a direct hit button. Once you've registered a Pokemon, you can call it in no time by pressing that button in the field. Ah, so I could go... I think I understand. Did that work? Um, maybe not. Uh, no. I'll, I'll fiddle with that later. Let's go into the town here. I don't know if I talked to that lady or not. Oh, wow. Uh, what's going on? Oh, this is a cool little town. I like it. Seems pretty lively, too. And there's a flying bird penguin thing. Okay. Uh, what in the world are you? You're a thing with a nose and a mustache? What is going on right now? I don't understand. Well. Seems to be lively in the town. I'm going to ignore all of it for now. I will definitely be exploring a lot more stuff in detail come the next episode. But for right now, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon. Yep, yep, yep. Rest them all up. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Good, that's exactly what I expect from you. 
and everybody's gonna be healed up. I'm so happy with the progression of our team though. I definitely think Finn has more room to even get even stronger, which we'll definitely try to do. But for now, let me go ahead and explore stuff. What happens to Pokemon's consciousness when it's put into, into a P PC box? To be conscious, you must be awake and aware of the world around you, wouldn't you say? But are Pokemon awake when they are in a PC box or are they sleeping? I wish I could go into a box to find out. I mean, yeah, what stops people from going into the boxes? Whoa, -ho! you have a Rotom Dex. I have a perfect job for you, please help me. Sure. I'm an employee at the Aether Foundation. We're doing a survey right now of a Pokemon called Natu, but I've had no luck finding any of them, and I'm in a real tough spot right now. If you happen to catch a Natu, would you show me the data for your Pokedex? If you can help me out, I can pay you for your work. I don't have that, oh well. What about you? Everything that we experience in our lives is connected to our Pokemon. That is why Kahuna Hala teaches us. Okay, boom. Yeah, we, we, we beat Kahuna Hala, so I don't care. That's cute. That cute Pokemon might look like it's here to help out or something, but don't be fooled. It's here to snag leftovers from the cafe. And it's a lot stronger than you might think. All right, I don't care. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about zero zero here in Alola. Here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get started for you today? Um, Moomoo -moo milk, pineapple juice, Kamala coffee, or never mind. We'll do Moomoo -moo milk, sure, why not? A Moomoo -moo milk will be 198, we have 77,000. Now 76,872, we're fine. Got it then, if you'll just give me a moment. Hopefully he'll give us more pokey beans, maybe even a rare candy. Here you are, one Moomoo -moo milk just for you. This Moomoo -moo milk is made with milk I, I just collected. Allow it to roll gently across your tongue as you drink it. Time is the same for everyone. Whether you're outside playing or laying around sleeping, time just keeps flowing. How you spend it is up to you. Remember that you, that time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. That is true. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea, tea biscuit on us. This ice cream is especially from Castelia City in the Unova region. You obtain Castelia Cone, cool. What else are we gonna get? Can we get a rare candy? We got to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Pokey beans, cool. Better than nothing. Uh, anything more? No, but I try to take the Poke Beans whenever I can because I'm always constantly giving them. And what about you guys? You guys have anything worthwhile? You should. Oh, you have a sparkling Z crystal. You've learned, you've cleared Myro's, Myro's, Malo's trial. Congratulations. Now you can purchase more items. So, welcome to the Pokemon. How may I help you? Bye, let's see what you have now. Um, anything I don't have. I mean, Ultra Balls here. I don't think I could buy Ultra Balls in the past. That's pretty cool. I might buy like, a couple so that I have five. I like having about five of everything. I mean, of everything that seems important that's not ridiculously expensive when well, I have six of them. Um, anything I don't have any of? One of the Adrenaline Orb. Using it makes a wild Pokemon call for help a number of times. If held by a Pokemon, it boosts speed. When intimidated, it can be used only once. Okay, I'm not too interested in that. Uh, I am good, I don't need anything more. Um, and I think that means we're also good for today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Diglett Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.